Hi everyone. Today in this video let us discuss the combination of torsimide and spironolactone. Torsimide is one of the loop diuretic and spironolactone is an aldosterone antagonist. This medication also acts as diuretic and retains the potassium in the body. Therefore it is called potassium sparing diuretic. Both torsimide and uh, spironolactone are available as a single tablet in a fixed combination. These two medications can be used in the conditions that are associated with uh, edema. Particularly torsimide can increase the body volume excretion. Therefore, it can reduce the edema. When it is combined with spironolactone, it can have more significant effect in treating edema as well as retaining the potassium levels in the body. Therefore, this combination is particularly used to treat edema that is associated with secondary hyperaldosteronism, where spironolactone can act as an antagonist and the aldosterone receptors, thereby it can reduce the hyperaldosteronism. Another clinical use of this combination is in the treatment of congestive heart failure. Particularly, this condition mainly involves the decreased ability of the heart to pump the blood to the requirements of systemic organs. Diuretics like torsimide and spironolactone can reduce the body volume thereby they can reduce the cardiac work. When the cardiac work is reduced the cardiac efficiency can be increased so heart can pump in a more efficient way thereby it can relieve the symptoms of heart failure. So particularly in the people with severe edema associated with congestive heart failure this combination can be used. Another indication of torsimide and spironolactone combination is in the treatment of liver cirrhosis. Spironolactone can reduce the hypertension in the portal circulation. Therefore, it can improve the liver functionality and reduce the liver cirrhosis. Combining torsimide can further improve the symptoms by increasing the excretion of body fluids which further reduces hypertension in the portal system. In this way, this combination is again effective in the management of liver cirrhosis. Another use is in the treatment of nephrotic syndrome. Since spironolactone can increase the sodium excretion and torsamide can also have a significant effect on the both sodium as well as water excretion, this combination can be used in people with nephrotic syndrome where the renal functionality is improved by using this combination. Finally, Torsamide and spironolactone combination can be used in people with coexistence of both hypertension as well as hyperaldosteronism. Torsamide can reduce the blood pressure by increasing the excretion of body fluids, and spironolactone can antagonize the aldosterone action, thereby it can prevent the retention of sodium and water in the body. Therefore, this combination can be used in people with uh, both hypertension and hyperaldosteronism. Now let us the precautions of this combination. Since this combination contains two types of diuretics, using this combination may significantly affect your body volume and electrolyte levels. Therefore, any chance of developing electrolyte imbalance should be properly checked. As torsamide acts as a loop diuretic, it can increase the excretion of many of the electrolytes. It can increase the excretion of magnesium leading to hypomagnesemia and it can reduce the body volume leading to hypovolemia. Similarly, spironolactone can retain the potassium in the body, therefore it can produce as hyperkalemia and both of these medications can increase the sodium excretion significantly leading to hyponatremia. Even this combination, even this combination can increase the excretion of chlorine leading to hypochloremic alkalosis. With these electrolyte disturbances, you can observe few symptoms like dryness of the mouth because of increased water excretion, people may have thirst, weakness and lethargy. It can also produce some drowsiness and restlessness. Due to the effect on sodium and potassium ions, these electrolyte disturbances can produce muscle pains and muscle cramps. Muscular fatigue and hypotension can also be observed. Significant imbalance in the electrolytes can also affect the heart leading to tachycardia and even nausea and vomiting. Excessive diuresis may produce dehydration and weakness. In the elders, this may increase the risk of formation of thrombosis and embolism. Therefore, fluid and electrolyte imbalances should be properly monitored. And in case of any fluid and electrolyte imbalances, 
the combination of torsemide and spinolactone should be discontinued until these levels are corrected to normal levels. And once they are restored, torsemide can be started at a lower dose to minimize the electrolyte disturbances. Few of the other factors can also affect these electrolyte disturbances, particularly in patients having excessive vomiting, a significant dehydration can be observed due to loss of body fluids. So in such people, we can observe excessive weakness, drowsiness and muscle cramps. Particularly, hyperkalemia may be more significant in people with any renal dysfunction. In people who are taking excessive potassium intake, again, the potassium levels may be excessively elevated, leading to cardiac irregularities. This may result in palpitations, rapid heartbeats and muscle cramps, which are fatal to the people. Therefore, while taking torsemide and spinolactone combination, potassium supplement should be avoided. The raised levels of potassium can produce few of the warning signs. Particularly, it can produce muscle weakness, fatigue, paresthesia, loss of sensation. And sometimes it can also produce bradycardia and shock. Therefore, an ECG should be taken to assess the functionality of the heart. And serum potassium level should be monitored to check the development of hyperkalemia. In case of significant hyperkalemia, this combination should be discontinued as it contains spinolactone which produces more retention of potassium in the body. In case of serious hyperkalemia, an IV administration of calcium chloride solution or sodium bicarbonate solution can be given. Even oral or parental administration of glucose with rapid acting insulin preparation can also be given to control the potassium levels. A significant hyponatremia results in development of dry mouth, thirst and drowsiness. This indicates your sodium levels are reduced in the body. And this condition may be further increased when spinolactone is given along with a few other diuretics. Since torsemide is a loop diuretic, combination of torsemide and spinolactone can produce a significant hyponatremia. However, when they are used at lower dose, this can be well controlled. When you are using this combination at higher doses, a significant hyponatremia may be produced. Since this combination contains spinolactone, use of other medications like AC inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers can also increase the risk of hyperkalemia. Gynecomastia may be developed with use of spinolactone. However, it is dose dependent and also depends on the duration of the therapy. When spinolactone is used at very higher doses for longer periods, it can produce gynecomastia resulting in the breast enlargement. However, this condition is reversible and it can be restored on stopping of this combination. Now let us see the side effects of this combination. The main side effects of this combination are related to their diuretic activity. They can produce dizziness, headache, nausea and weakness. The glucose levels may be elevated leading to hyperglycemia and excessive urination can be observed. Uric acid levels are also increased in the body resulting in hyperuricemia. Excessive thirst can be observed with the higher doses. Rarely it can produce esophageal hemorrhage. Now let us see the doses of this medication. Torsemide and spinolactone combination is available as a tablet and each tablet contains a fixed combination of these two medications. However, they are available in different strengths. One of the combination contains 5 mg of torsemide and 50 mg of spinolactone. It is also available in other combinations where the dose of torsemide is increased with the constant dose of spinolactone. So this combination is also available as 10 mg of torsemide and 50 mg of spinolactone otherwise 20 mg of torsemide with 50 mg of spinolactone. The dose of this combination depends on the type of clinical indication and it is going to be individualized. Typically for the treatment of congestive heart failure, it can be started at a dose range of uh, 5 to 10 mg of torsemide combined with 50 mg of spinolactone. However, the dosing combination may be variable and depends on the severity of the condition. Now let us see how this combination works. This combination contains two medications, torsemide and spinolactone. Each of this medication acts as diuretic, but they are acting in a different way. 
Torsmide is a loop diuretic, whereas pinolactone is a potassium sparing diuretic, or it's also called as aldosterone antagonist. The site of action of torsamide is on the ascending loop of Henle, whereas spinolactone is going to be acting on the collecting tubules, normally at the ascending loop of Henle. On the apical membrane, one of the co-transporter is present, which is responsible for transport of both sodium, potassium and chloride ions. This co-transport is called as sodium-potassium 2-chloride exchange pump. On activation of this pump, both sodium, potassium and 2-chloride ions are transported into the tubular membrane then they are going to be entering into the systemic circulation by sodium potassium ATPase pump on the basolateral membrane. Now one of the key action of torsamide is to block this sodium potassium 2 chloride co-transport. By blocking this pump it inhibits the reabsorption of both sodium as well as chloride ions. Since potassium is recycled it mainly affects the reabsorption of sodium ions and chloride ions. Therefore, sodium chloride is not reabsorbed, instead it is excreted in the urine. This reduces body volume and it also promotes water excretion. In this way, torsamide can reduce the edema by increasing the sodium and water excretion. Spinolactone acts in different way. It acts on the collecting tubules, particularly it acts as an aldosterone receptor antagonist. Aldosterone is in one of the important hormone that is responsible for promoting sodium reabsorption into the body. Aldosterone can bind to the aldosterone receptors at the collecting tubules which promotes the expression of sodium potassium exchange pumps. These pumps are responsible for sodium reabsorption into the body. Now spinolactone acts as an antagonist at the aldosterone receptors. This results in the decreased action of aldosterone that inhibits the expression of sodium potassium exchange pumps and even the sodium ions on the apical membrane. This results in the decreased absorption of sodium at the collecting tubules which promotes again sodium excretion. As sodium is excreted, potassium is more retained in the body leading to potassium sparing effect. So spinolactone can reduce the body volume as well as it can reduce the hypertension by increasing the sodium excretion. What are the categories of the medications in this combination? Torsamide and spinolactone is available as a fixed combination where torsamide is a loop diuretic and spinolactone is an aldosterone antagonist or it is also known as potassium sparing diuretic. What is the strength of this combination? Torsamide and spinolactone is available as a fixed combination at different strengths. They are available in combinations of 5 plus 50 10 plus 50 and 20 plus 50. Where this combination is particularly used? In people with liver cirrhosis, congestive heart failure, edema associated with secondary hyperaldosteronism, or in people with hypertension coexisting with hyperaldosteronism, this combination can be used. What is the important precaution of this combination? Electrolyte and fluid imbalances are the main precaution of this combination as both of these medications can act as diuretic and they can increase sodium excretion. Hyperkalemia is another important precaution that should be considered. Gynecomastia can be produced by spinolactone at higher doses on long-term therapy. What is the important side effect of this combination? Torsmed and spinolactone combination can mainly produce dizziness, drowsiness, weakness and dry mouth as important side effects. So that's all about this combination, torsimide and spinolactone. I hope this video is useful to you. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.